Hey guys, this is Brian at Bulb, and today you will be learning all about ways to navigate and personalize your portfolio. This is going to be exciting, and you'll learn how to do some really cool stuff inside of Bulb. So, here we have your Bulb profile page, and you want to make it your own. You can add a profile image to represent yourself. And a quick tip for our younger users, you might want to consider using a photo of an animal, a favorite activity, or a photo that does not showcase your face up close. You can also add a cover image by uploading it from the computer, using Google Photos or your asset library or from Google Drive, and even from the web. Now, when you click on web search, these are images that are high quality, free to use images that you can use throughout Bulb. You can type in whatever you like and pick an image you enjoy that represents you and you can add it as your cover photo. We do recommend horizontal images for your cover image as they will be stretched wide. And then you can drag the image up and down as needed for your liking and click save. If there is a very specific image or logo you would like to showcase as your cover photo, we recommend using a photo that is 2280 by 600 pixels. The next thing you're going to want to edit is your description. That's the section right below your name. Add a little bit about who you are, what you care about, what you do, and what people might need to know about you when they visit your portfolio. When it comes to navigating through Bulb, there's just a few buttons to note. Up here in the top right hand corner, the big one to keep in mind is the menu button. It's the three lines inside of a circle. If you click on it, you're going to get a drop down of where most of your navigation will live. So let's start on the far left hand side. This is your activity feed. This is where you'll get notifications about when people share work with you, add content to a group you're a part of, leave a comment on your page, etc. Keep an eye on this activity feed. Next over is your groups. We will talk more about groups later on and we'll teach you all about them, but remember this is how you access them. The next section over is your likes. You can like any bold page or collection by pressing the heart icon on that content and a running list of those items will live in this likes section. When you go further right, you come to the asset library, which is a storage place of all of your assets in bold. Any file you add to your bold pages or collections will be saved here. This means all of your photos, videos, and other files, all of it lives here forever and will remain here unless you delete it out of the asset library. You also have access to this for life, so you can use these assets in a lot of different projects in the future. You can sort by clicking on the different icon. You can also create a new folder to organize your assets. And you can check your storage up on the top here. If your school has purchased Bulb for you, or if you have purchased for a Bulb Plus account, that means that you actually have unlimited storage for your asset library. Okay, now, if I go back to my menu button, there is another option that I want to highlight here, which is the More menu. If I click on this More dropdown, I have a lot of options. I can open my settings, where I can go in and change my password, change my username, or make changes to my emails. You ha can have multiple emails listed on your Bulb account. And remember, Bulb is for life. So if your school email address is the only email currently listed, you want to make sure to add your personal email and add a password so that you can access Bulb forever. Also in the More dropdown, we're going to notice a link to bulbapp.com. This is a great place to go to our website, to check out our blog, sign up for our newsletter, or keep up with news of Bulb. The biggest resource that I want to share is our resource center. So a reminder to get there. You're going to click on the menu button, more, and then resource center. Our resource center is where a wealth of resources live. Throughout the Bulb Resource Center, we have a ton of tutorials, examples, templates, and more to help you use Bulb to its fullest potential. You will also find a link to our YouTube channel, which has several helpful playlists and user stories. I highly make, recommend you take the time to look through the Resource Center here and find resources that are helpful to your specific use of Bulb. Check back in on a regular basis 
because we are always adding more and more great content. All right, let's go back to our profile page. Most of the time you can do that by clicking on the bulb icon and that will take you to your main profile page. The last thing to note is this question mark up here in the top right hand corner of your bulb page. This is a great resource for you. That question mark button will bring you to our help center. If you have trouble with any of our features, you can explore our help articles by searching any keyword here or by opening up any one of the folders and browsing the help articles. If those articles don't answer your question or you need further assistance, you can click on the Submit a Request button in the top right hand corner. And that will get you in direct contact with our help team who are ready to support you with your specific needs. You can also chat with our team by opening up the chat feature at the bottom of the screen. You can also access this whole page at any time by going to help.bullbap.com. Now that we're back at our portfolio, I want to talk a little bit about the difference between collections and pages. Both the Create Collection and Create Page blue buttons are viewable on your home profile page or when you're inside of a collection you have created. When looking at a portfolio, you can choose to use the Tile View or List View. In Tile View, you can tell if a tile is a collection by the multiple page icon. And it looks like two pages with lines on them. I can see several collections here. If you do not see that icon on the tile, that means that this is a page. You can use collections to organize your work in a lot of different ways. You can organize by subject area, grade level, skill set, goal, time, or any other structure you'd like. Collections are like folders. They hold pages and other collections inside of them. I can open up a collection to see what's inside. Pages are where your content comes to life. A page is where your text, images, videos, files, audio files, and URL embeds live and where you can really express yourself. If I'm inside of a page and I want to get back to the collection or navigate between the various pages, I can do so here at the bottom of the page. I can click Previous, I can go Next, or I can click View Collection to go back to the collection. I can use my breadcrumbs here and click on my username, my profile name, to go back to my main portfolio page or I can always click on the bulb icon on the top to get back to this main profile page as well. Bulb is flexible and movable and it can grow with you. The organization options are no different. When you are organizing your portfolio, you can drag and drop your content. So if you need to reorganize, you can just drag and drop any of your pages and collections wherever you need them. You can also drag pages or collections into other collections as well. Also, you can take a page that lives inside of a collection and drag it to the breadcrumbs up here on top so that it lives inside of your main portfolio page again. Keep in mind that when you drag and drop content into different collections, the sharing permissions may change. Stay tuned to learn more about that in our sharing video.